Hello viewers. So uh, today as with the last video we have just shown how to set up the real time PCR for COVID analysis. But just uh, a highly apology for just so much delay in uh, posting the video of analysis of the results just because there is a pressure, a huge pressure of um, in sequencing of the new st COVID strain which we have received from the UK. So uh, just behind my seat, you have seen the sequencer is there. So we are just planning for sequencing the strains which we are, the new strains which has been the number of patients has been increased, has been significant increase from the last one month. So that is what the reason are not able to analyze the results and show you and to discuss on this platform. So today uh, we are just going to uh, discuss how we we'll analyze the real time result, real time results, especially of the COVID analysis. <clears throat> so, before analyzing the result, if, you have, if if someone says that you please you please go and analyze the results of uh, this uh, the real time run. So, with the, the very first thing you must know which RT PCR kit you have used to run the. PCR of COVID uh, detection. So the very first one, you must know which kit you have used. Why I am saying this? Because you must know the standards. Means what type of probe they have used, what is the cutoff CT value, what is the threshold cycle, each and everything you must be know before analyzing the final results of COVID analysis. Fine. So uh, in this essay, we have used the kit Merrill. Fine. So you must know the kit which uh, is you are going to analyze because without which you cannot uh, you cannot analyze what is the target, what is the primer probe, what specific fluorophore they have used. So before finalizing, so uh, I'm just going to show you this <coughs> that we have used this Merrill kit right now. This is a very good kit, Merrill Diagnostic One Step RT PCR kit. Fine. This is a real-time PCR kit. It's a multiplexing. They have done a very good multiplexing. We are getting a very good, uh, means a very fine and a clear results of positive and negative. So I'm not going to go uh, in detail about what is the kit, what they have made. Just in general that they have used a multiplexing PCR. They have used three target probes. I'll show you next. See. <clears throat> Real-time detection kit based on multiplexing PCR for SARS-CoV-2 nucleic acid RNA using different swab six samples. These are the highlights which we have been given. Essay time is 65 minutes. In 65 minutes, you have to run the PCR cycle to complete it. Okay, this is a one-step master mix. Easy operation, compatible to each and every machine like BioRed or ABI. Very highly specific and accuracy. So uh, now the principles of what, what they have used. Uh, the, these are the samples, nasopharyngeal, oropharyngeal or sputum. Samples will be considered as the significant samples for detection of COVID <coughs> uh, patients. Now, uh, this kit contains these component. This is none of our use, enzyme, primer, post. I'll explain you in detail if, if you really want what is the positive control, negative control, silent feature, specific, leave it, leave all these things. This is a specification of the kit, which I am not going to detail. Now, this, this is an important slide. Quality control, what quality control they have given, negative control, positive control, the tu uh, two tubes are there, negative control. So, the CT of a positive control must be less than equal to 35 means in th these two cases the very first thing you just see what are the targets the Merrill have taken fine the very first is ORF 1AB gene means that is detecting the confirmatory COVID diagnosis ORF 1AB gene and that gene is FAM labeled FAM is the fluorophore which the machine used to detect so this is a FAM labeled ORF 1AB gene second target is the N gene nucleoprotein N gene. Fine, this is hex labeled. And the third target they are using is internal control rocks. Please be clear about this target because I am going to show you the direct machine results 
which will be very clear within the next few minutes. Okay. So these are the three targets. O R F one A B and gene internal control. Internal control is the R N A S P. This kit is using. See the quality control. Internal control R N A S P. R N A S P is the endogenous human positive control that shows that that must be amplified in each and every sample because this is a human control R N A. If the sample is human from human source, then this primer probe must be amplified fine so just be clear that the ct value must be less than or equal to 35 for any analysis means for positive for negative for anything must must be considered 30 below 35 fine three targets they are using orf 1ab gene n gene and internal control fine And O R F one A B fam labeled. Second is hex labeled. Third is rocks labeled. <clears throat> Now this is the interpretation part, which we have to uh, set in our mind before declaring that patient is positive, that patient is negative. See, if both these target means O R F or N G, if both the targets are positive, patient is positive. Sure shot. No need to see anything. If O R F one A B and N G are positive. Then this is positive. Rocks. Just I'll explain you detail about the rocks. Rocks must be positive in each and every case. The very first thing you will check it the the detection of rocks. If rocks is not amplified, simply click that sample as a repeat sample. No need to report negative or positive in that case. Fine. So. rocks must be amplified you will get a sigmoid curve in rocks fine so uh, this is the the rocks so orf positive and positive patient is positive orf positive and negative then you have to suspect you have to suspect you have to retest the sample because this cannot be possible because orf is a specific gene of confirmatory gene of novel coronavirus so that must be there n gene so you just repeat the test next if orf 1 ab is negative n is positive then the patient is will be declared as negative but you have to suggest that please send your samples after 2 3 days fine uh, another thing both negative but rocks must be positive in each and every case fine both negative sure shot there is no amplification n gene orf patient is negative fine last step orf negative n negative then rocks be negative no rocks cannot be negative at all that means uh there is some means something which is not okay with the test because it might be possible that somebody has just sent the simple vtm to the lab they have not extracted the sample from the patient that is invalid test fine so just be clear about these result because next i am going to show you through the software how the results will be declared so be ready so <clears throat> this is the direct cfx uh, cfx software file which i am going to show you see what three targets i have i have already told you what are the three targets here you have to label the target but machine will show you the flows flow of force this is fam you will get this type of screen when <clears throat> when you the run will be the, the run of the machine will be over fine so there is no well selected no graph I, i'll show you one by one so the very first thing the three targets must be there Th three targets means three fluorophore because machine will detect the fluorophore they don't have anything about the engine influenza or dengue or whatsoever fine so they have three targets which we have selected fam hex and rocks fam is for orf 1b hex is for ng and rocks is for ic now what will you do if you will click on this this will select the full 96 well and you will get these types of graphs so you will be confused what i what will i do because there are many graphs i am being confused so what you have to do these are the first eight samples fine first eight samples so what we'll do just 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 select this row and deselect these targets 
this is the rocks this is rocks means internal control means the samples are from human origin so in all eight cases you are getting a peak fine in all four in all eight cases you are getting a peak you have get the ct value c c yeah you will get a cq value fine amplification cycle quantification you will get a cq value that means all these samples must be declared positive or negative no repeat will be given to these eight patients now what come next you just deselect this rocks there is no need to check rocks just click on fam and hex and select one by one fine see you have selected one uh, the first case fam is orf hex is ng there is no amplification what uh, you may ask what is this this is graph no this is not the graph this is just the noise i'll show you what the graph is fine this is just a noise so this patient will be declared negative fine come to the next c this patient is highly positive covid patient how see i have selected this second well and the value of orf is 22.65 and the value of ng is 23.08 means the infection the viral load of the patient is very high fine so this patient is sure shot declared as positive because rocks you have already checked patient is positive so next see clearly the patient is will be can be declared as negative because you have only two targets for covid two targets were a 1ab and ng fine these are the targets for covid rnsp is not the target for any disease rnsp shows that the sample is from our human origin fine so two targets four d targets are negative next negative this also negative this also negative no, no now you see that what is going to be happened after 35 cycle this is just nothing but the noise but the values of primer dimer they are going to touch the threshold see if you will see in this case you will get a value but this is not the value this is not the graph because sigmoid graph cannot be like this like this or like this fine see this is again negative this is again positive with a very good ct values 27 27 fine so in this in this row two wells means two patients out of eight patients two patients are positive can be easily declared as positive but i just forget you before proceeding to analyze the patient sample you have to check your quality control results means instead of checking the sample rna you have to check whether your pcr components your master mix your run cycle was performing well or not if that is not performing you cannot declare this patient as positive why in this sat you have positive control negative control fine but what are discussed uh, discussed here see they have given negative control they have given positive control and the values must be there in positive and negative control then only you can proceed to the next analysis now here is the positive control i have marked in this 10th row this is positive control see what a perfect graph orf 21.07 perfect sigmoidal curve fine and this the same with the engine means your positive control is working very well now the negative control see there is no amplification that means your quality control results are perfect you can now directly go to the sample well and declare the sample as positive or negative as per the fluorophore used the first row will be over similarly you have to check the second row first we have to check the rocks rocks is there third row full rocks is there fourth row yes this is also there see in the last column rocks is there but but 
the graph is not so much amplified or no fluorescence has been detected but the graph is there what does this means this means somebody has taken the sample from the oral or nasal cavity of the patient but that technician is not expert they have not properly taken the sample from the human because if they have come uh, they have properly taken the sample then this peak must be very clear this shows that the sample contain the viral load which is very low maybe no this is not related to covid fine this is rnas peak means the sample is not taken properly this is a simple explanation of this Let's see in this row you will get a very uh, good analysis only 2 3 4 5 5 five samples have very good rna speed but second c this sample does not contain an ic means internal control is not amplified so without checking R, uh, orf and engine you just declare this patient to send your sample again repeat sample no no final result no conclusive result at all fine if you will check this this must be not there because there is no rna in this well so you will not declare this sample as a positive or negative another sample you will see this is the sample this is also the sample where ic rna sp is not there so rna sp is not there that means you don't have you won't get any rna while uh, means adding the template and running the machine so if there is no rna then how you could declare the sample as negative some it might uh, uh, this can be the error of some scientific person who is reporting for the results of the pcr who can declare this sample as a negative but this is completely false reporting because uh, that uh, that person will check that there is no error there is no engine now the sample is declared as a negative but no although engine and orf is not there but if you if you have not checked the rocks the rocks is also not there so you cannot declare the sample as positive or negative i hope this is this point is very much clear to everyone similarly we have to check the each and every well for positive or negatives and how much the see in this in this row also only four samples can be declared positive or negative rest four will be declared as repeat sampling no positive negative repeat sampling fine because there is no rna or no uh, throat swab sample in the tube which we have received in our lab i hope this is clear positive and negative the importance of positive negative i'll cover cover it in the next video this these quality control parameters are very important to do any means i cannot say uh, in any pcr in any experimental uh, in any experimental setup if you don't have quality control result no positive or negative control then any experiment cannot be declared as a conclusive results fine so this is the explanation of basically the merrill kit irrespective of merrill kit the same analysis same interpretation of the results is for any covid or any rt pcr diagnosis we uh, we basically do here uh, influenza testing dengue testing influenza setup is almost the similar but only the thing different is the probes so this is uh, that's for all the for this session of um, analysis thank you for watching this uh, watching this video please don't forget to like comment and share and ask any question related to rt pcr just drop your questions Uh, drop your questions i'll answer you thank you thank you for watching this video